What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farm Sim News, baby. Hashtag Farm Sim News. Today, we have 16 PC mods and testing, 17 console mods and testing. And of all those, nine mods were released today, one of which is not on this list, and we'll talk about that. Plus, we have new information on seasons and the Homer DLC fact sheets. We've got two of them for you and a new release date for the Homer DLC. It's not next Thursday anymore. Let's check it out. In testing for PC, we have Agri Bumper, the Bog Bell M Line Solid Fertilizer Spreader, the Glass Mega Pack, the New Class Harvester, Contractor Mod, the EB770 Pack, New Trailer, Extended Driving, the John Deere 6R, we got a new mod for this one, Manure and Slurry Storage, the Metal Fact U71 1 Cultivator, Milling Machine, Slow Wear, Star Wees, a new map for Farming Simulator 19. Out now is the Old Farm Countryside brand new map, Tipside HUD. For Pomeran Rugen, this is going to be a brand new map for Farm Sim 19. This was in 17, but we haven't seen it yet. And Wonderland. For console, we have the Bergman TSW4190. This is out now for all platforms. We've got an update to the D754 truck pack. Released today, the Fent 51X or 51X. And the X is just the next number, whatever engine that you choose. The Fortret HW80 SHA trailer. The Hardy Navigator 6000 row crop. This was released yesterday. However, now, or two days ago rather, but it has since been taken off the mod hub and you can't find it anywhere, but now we've got an update for it. So look forward to that. If you've got the mod, do not delete it. Homemade Bell Fork released today for all platforms. The Karsher Washing House this is going to be a new pressure washer. Kroger Overloader, this is a trailer with an auger attached to the back. We also have the Kuhn Axis 402 Plus Pack. Lampiki, the Man TGS Agro Truck and Kroger HKD Pack. This was in Farming Simulator 17. I loved it and I used it a lot and will be coming to Farming Simulator 19. Also in testing is the Metal Tech DBL Pack, new trailer pack. Pallet Racking, out now for all platforms. The Pottinger Synchro 3030, this is a new cultivator that was released today and is available for all platforms. Again, the Old Farm Countryside, released today for all platforms. An update to the Old Stream Farm. Very, very good stuff here. You can basically take the entire farm and delete each individual piece. If I'm not mistaken, other than Jim's maps, this is the first map to adapt this. So you can delete and then replace. You can rebuy them and put them on a totally different farm. So cool. So cool. Black Sheep modding, you've blown my mind. And the Ursus 1214. This has been released today for all platforms. With all that being said, we still have 57 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is four weekdays. Also released today was an update for Oakfield Farm Farming Simulator 19 version. If you guys are on the console, make sure that you update to this new version. PC guys, there is no update for you. This update removed copyright materials, which consoles unfortunately cannot have. Here we've got some new information on the Seasons mod for Farming Simulator 19. It says a preview of the Seasons mod for FS19. This mod is still a work in progress and has not yet been released. However, in this video, they are showcasing the new weather system for FS19 Seasons mod. We can see sunrise, the storm incoming, heavy rain, thunderstorm, and lightning. If you guys want to check them out, I will leave a link to their YouTube page and to their website in the description below so you can check them out for yourself. We also have two fact sheets for the Homer DLC plus a new release date. Farming Simulator on their page says it's Fact Sheet Friday once more. Slight correction from our tweet last week, the Homer Terry Variant DLC will be out on the 14th of May, free for everyone. So not next Thursday, as we have thought for the past week, it will be out Tuesday. So we don't have to wait seven days. It's going to be four days away. That's right. Oh, man, I'm excited. So we have two fact sheets. We have one for Homer stuff, one for Zunehammer stuff. In the Homer stuff, we have the Homer Multi-Tank MB35. Now, this is going to be in Auger Wagons, $78,500. Contents, you can do chaff, sugar beets, and potatoes. So, they have added chaff to this for Farming Simulator 19. Extremely cool, and I'm so happy that they've done that. This is going to make doing, well, 
doesn't hold very much. It holds 35,000 liters. So if 35,000 liters of chaff is cool for you, then it's cool for me. But I would definitely want more. And compatibility is with the Homer Terra variant 585. We also have the Homer Grain Tank GB25. Auger wagon module as well, 64,000. And contents will do wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflower, soybeans, corn, seeds, and fertilizer. So everything that an auger wagon can hold. Holds 25,000 liters and also works with the Terra Variant 585. Our second fact sheet today is of the Zunhammer Slurry Tank TV 585 and the Vibro Gruber. First up is the Slurry Tank TV 585. This is going to be a Slurry Tank module, $70,000. You can change the main color. It holds slurry and digestate, capacity of 21,000 liters, so nothing special there. Working speed is 10 miles per hour or 17 kilometers per hour. And compatibility with the Terra Variant 585, the Glide Fix 15, and the Vibro. Not sure what those are. We don't have those yet, do we? Maybe, maybe not. We shall see. Ah, well, there it is, the Vibro Gruber right there. <laughs> slurry Cultivator, $34,800, needs 100 horsepower. Will go 6.2 meters or 20.3 feet. Pretty wide. I like that. That's pretty cool. We'll do uh, 17 kilometers an hour or 10 miles per hour as per usual. And with the Slurry Tank TV 585 and the SKE 18.5. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not already, please subscribe. If you got any questions, drop those down in the comment section below. I'd be happy to help you out. That being said, I hope you have a great day and we will see you later. Peace. You see, whenever I whenever I talk, I put this guy on right here, so it takes all the wind noise away. Yeah.